work? Yeah, I just, I just sold 600 pieces of fish. We here at Rock the Bells with Mia X, who has Mama Mia Foods. It's your man Chuck Creekmer, and she's working, 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 working. First of all, how are you feeling today? Because it's hot, it's all type of grease popping and everything's going on back here. How you how you feeling in this weather? I'm feeling good. We whipping pots. I'm at Rock the Bells, baby. Look at here. I'm in New York. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is not your first time here, I'm sure, right? No, but this is my first time coming and doing a food festival. Right, right. So, I'm excited. Now, I, we're going to get into a lot of the backstory behind how you got to this point. But tell us how your business is going and tell people a little bit about it and, you know, what makes it special. So my business is doing really well. I'm very thankful for that. Um, but it started from me creating a cooking squad on Twitter like 11 years ago. And um, the squad was called Team Whip Them Pots. Okay. And I inspire people to cook. Right. You know, I just, I just want people to cook. I want families to cook. I want people to cook. Right. And so um, after that... I started penning my memoir, okay. things my grandma told me, things my grandma showed me, and it's a cookbook memoir. I talk okay. about my life, okay. talk about my time in the music industry, and I talk about my experience with food. Yeah. Um, it's like my audience, they, they moved with me. Right. They, right. they transitioned right. from the music to the food. Yeah. I'm really, I was really excited and happy that you know, they didn't call me a has-been and act right. like I didn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. They really grew with me. And, um, you know, our hip-hop man. So, let's go to that. Yeah. So, I'm telling everybody, you know, all hip-hop's turning 25 next year. But you were one of the first people to get down with us outside of just being interviewed and outside of, you know, us chasing you or whatever or being in the news. Talk about that a little bit. So, all hip-hop gave me my first opportunity yeah. and gave me the platform to really, like, talk about my food and all the stories. You guys allowed me to write columns in a lifestyle section <laughs> and I would do excerpts of my book, recipes, yes. just all kind of little stuff. But y'all gave me that platform and people really started to take me serious right. as a cook. Yeah. So you know all hip hop is family forever, baby. We family. Forever. That's forever. Styles big. I'm hopping in. Yes. If you plant based, you need a plant based meal, get the vegan cabbage. <laughs> It's here today. Yeah. It's here today. Yeah. We about to get that because I'm not eating meat for August. I'm trying to get off meat, period, but uh, I'm down to chicken and, 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 and turkey. So. Well, that's what I did. This this uh, my whole um, menu. Okay. So I have a, a, a chicken sausage and chicken okay. breast gumbo. Okay. My red beans and rice also has oh. chicken sausage. Um, and then I did the vegan cabbage. Okay. Bun said you almost put him to sleep today. Because look, he started with a little piece of fish and some red beans, and then he came back for seconds. <laughs> Bun looked like he gets seconds, maybe thirds. <laughs> he came back for seconds. But I'm going to get one of those trail bur burgers. I want to try the, uh, the vegan one because they say it will shock you. They ran out. They ran out. He said they ran out in four hours. It's gone. That's what happened to me with the fish. I'm out of the fish. But see, y'all, so look. See, what, what people up north don't understand is that this, this, the key to good food is the love you put into it. Talk about the love you put into your food. I enjoy cooking for people. Mm -hmm. I love to see them satisfied, right. you know, when they take the first bite. Yeah. And then after they finish the meal, it's really important to me when I'm cooking to make sure people love it. Right. I don't cook like to make money. Right. I don't cook just to be cooking. Right. I want people to really have an experience with right. the food and, and know, I want to feel like your auntie, right. your mama, right. your grandma. Because <laughs> I am a grandma, I am an auntie, and right. I am a mama. But I, I want to feel like that to people who I never met before, yeah. especially with food. Food bonds people. Mm -hmm. The kitchen is the heartbeat of your home, I'm telling you. Wow. That's so serious. Now, for me, right, I'm not, <clears throat> I try, I've tried, and I, I, I you know, uh, I used to make my daughter uh, spaghetti tacos, like we used to do anything because we didn't know what we were doing. We were literally kind of growing up together. Yeah. 
Um, do you have any recommendation for someone trying to learn how to cook but just can't seem to get it together? It's your trinity. So in New Orleans, it's onion, garlic, and bell pepper. Okay. We season most of our foods that way. Sometimes we add celery to it. Okay. And uh, if we're doing gravies, we add a little pinch of thyme. Okay. But your seasoning is the key to making delicious food. Right. So right. as long as you know to season your food, and I'm not talking about salting it, <laughs> season your food, add your herbs and your spices, right. you can make anything. I'm yeah. talking about anything. Right, right, right. Okay, okay. Thank you for that. Uh, I was uh, vegan for a while, uh, like real vegan, for like a short period of time, a year or two or something. And uh, that was the key to getting through it, seasoning. Seasoning. Yeah. Now, um, hip-hop turns 50 years old next year. Um, we're talking about all aspects of the culture, but you have a distinct, uh, unique perspective for one, you were down with one of the most iconic chic. What's goody? Oh, yes, yes. Now I see. Real. <laughs> yes, sir. Um, chic loose, y'all. Uh, one, of, one of the most iconic labels, No Limit. Uh, and you were also a woman in that, in that uh, brand as well. Can you talk about um, maybe the, your thoughts on what you went through or, you know, the... Uh, you know, the idea that hip-hop is a really young culture, but it's now turning 50. Um, well, I put a record out uh, three years before I met Master P. Mm -hmm. And I, I had been in the game, Manny Fresh and I, we had been in a group since we were 14. Okay. We were in a group with a guy that was actually from Queens, wow. so our group was called New York Incorporated. Okay. Um, but when I got with No Limit, it was like 27 guys and just me. Right. Um. What I loved about that experience, they never told me what to write. They okay. always let me do my thing. Right. Um, and they never pushed like imagery on me. Mm -hmm. I had imagery pushed on me from, you know, like the labels that distributed us. Mm -hmm. but they never pushed um, like, oh, mama, you too fat or, you know, mm -hmm. you need to do this or you need to do that. Mm -hmm. They just let me be me. Mm -hmm. So that was really beautiful. You know, I gained mm -hmm. some brothers and, um, you know, we have our children are God, are we God parents? Like, yeah. that's KLC son. He's the okay. executive chef. Yeah, nice. He's my God child. Right, <laughs> and, right. um, so, you know, we, we had a, a real cool family. So it, it was a good experience. But hip hop itself, you know, I fell in love with hip hop in '79. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I fell in love in '79, and and you know how you have class night at school, yeah. And when you have career day at school, yeah. since 1982, the only thing I've ever told my teachers was that I was going to be a rapper. Wow. I've never said I was going to be anything else. That's I mean, and they would call my mom and say, you know that hip hop like the rapping Duke and, <laughs> and they would say hibbity bibbity, call yeah. it all kind of um, names because they didn't recognize it as a genre right. when I fell in love with it. But I knew hip hop was going to be special. You knew it. I knew it. Yeah. A lot of people we talked to say they didn't know it and, and that, that most people were saying it wouldn't be around. But you knew it. I knew it. Yeah. And I was like, I'm going to be a rapper from the time. Well, when Millie Jackson made I Had to Say It, mm -hmm. I was like, and I could cuss? Oh, my <laughs> goodness. I'm going to throw a couple That's of a fact. words in there. But I knew um, hip-hop was something special. You know, I knew we had stories to tell. Mm -hmm. You know, we had a lifestyle. I, I knew it. I knew it. Now, um, not to put you on the spot, but how do you feel about the way the ladies uh, have... Uh, evolved, represented uh, to this day? You know, I've always been one to let each artist do, the, do their artistry the way they want to do mm -hmm. it. Because, um, you know, when I came in the game, when I dropped my first record, it was like a diss record. Mm -hmm. I was cussing and talking about name brand, and it was, it was very vulgar. Mm -hmm. um, it had a message behind it, mm -hmm. but at the same time, um, I didn't want anybody to come at me and tell me what I should or shouldn't be saying, right. what I should and shouldn't look like. 
I feel like, you know, especially when they come in the game young, you just have to give them time because when you live life, yeah. you start to change. You know, like right now, my kids be like, Mama, you so soft, you know. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 53, you know. Right, so right. I, I just feel like uh, we should support them. Mm -hmm. I, I support and salute all the girls yeah. and I feel like we should back up and give them the time yeah. to grow and mature in the music and see where it take them you know I, I really believe that um, I'm not gonna judge them all the nasty shit I didn't say it in my I'm not about to say but but if I can whenever I get a chance to connect to them I like having real conversations with them and letting them know that they could call on me for other stuff you know okay um guess that's mostly it. Oh, I know, I know. Since we don't see you every day, I got to ask you who your top five dead or alive are. In no order. Okay. <laughs> In no order. But, um, Scarface, mm -hmm. Big Daddy Kane, Nas. You see that smile? Look at this smile. <laughs> Light. Okay. And she's like. And Jean Grey. Jean Grey! Oh, shoot. We were talking about her earlier today. I could do like. Talk about Jean Grey. Man. She, knows, she doesn't get mentioned enough. She really doesn't. Um, See, Jean Grey is so dope and so creative. Yeah. She really embodies like a, a B girl. She, yeah. is, she is a hip hop girl. And I really, really. um. I've always appreciated her style, you know. And so many ladies, like, I could go on and on and on about, like, dope ladies. Yeah. Because we don't get the credit. Mm -hmm. Especially the ones like myself, we who write and come up with the concepts. Mm -hmm. We don't get the credit. And a lot of times we are in the shadows, especially if um, we came out behind a successful or respected male in yeah. hip-hop. You know, but um, the ladies, like, man. Well, you always represented, and I always, you know, you always made space to be heard and seen. So that, and that's tough. I was gonna elbow my way through the thing. I'm, we're in New Orleans. We said Bogart. Right, right, Bogart, Bogart. Look, I was going to make myself heard, and especially for ladies who looked like me. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I, try, I tried to tell everybody, like, no, if you really think about it, most of the guys' wives and baby mamas and sisters, they really look like me yeah. while y'all around here playing like we supposed to look like something else. That's a fact. I don't know, but... That's the same thing Queen Latifah told me. Yeah, yeah. because, I mean, look at us. It, yeah. it, she is definitely one of my favorites. She kept it so real with me um, when they honored her. Mm -hmm. At yeah. the time, I was battling cancer. Uh. She flew me out here, and she really, like, looked out for me, took care of me. Yeah. The ladies in hip hop, I've been blessed to have really great relationships. You know, Latifa, Yo Yo, mm -hmm. Rage, mm -hmm. Moni, that's my yeah. real sisters. Like, yeah. they really look out for me. Shantae is yeah. my sister of sisters. Yeah, yeah. You Spark know. Right there. So, well, yeah. we appreciate your time. And uh, when, we, when, we, when we make our way to North, uh, New, New Orleans, because we, we on a tour next year, all hip hop 25, we're going to definitely pull up. Definitely, so I can feed y'all. Y'all Yo. my family. I know, I know. I'm going to bring Wanda with me, too. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Thank you yes. so much. Thank you Any so last much. words? Much love, all hip-hop. Y'all keep on. 25 more years. Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Yeah, definitely.